Now, once you have uh, created a custom camera profile, you can save it as a preset. So therefore, you don't have to apply it every single time. And in fact, you can save a few other things uh, or settings as a preset if you find yourself using the same type of adjustments. So here is an image. Uh, so select your hero image. Here's the image that I applied the uh, new profile. And I'm going to go ahead and check my detail and make sure that my sharpening is applied the same. I personally like to apply a little bit more sharpening than what Lightroom defaults to. It defaults to 40. I add up to 65, but you have to look. So review your um, canvas video on sharpening. So I have these settings set up. And I'm going to make sure that my lens correction is set as well. And yes, it, it is. And um, I usually also reduce my highlights for the most part. So I'm going to reduce my highlights by about minus 25. And I usually reduce my saturation by about 7. Um, and that is all that I'm going to do for this preset. So I'm going to go ahead and save my preset. I'm going to look over on the left hand side click on the plus create a preset make sure you give it a meaningful name so i'm going to call this my 5d master preset 5d mark three master and so now i'm going to uncheck or check none rather and I'm going to apply what I need to apply to it so here's my profile treatment my highlights and my saturation and my sharpening my lens correction chromatic aberration and that is it just double check yourself make sure everything is selected so the profile, the highlights I always reduce for the most part, my sharpening, my saturation, my lens profile correction, and chromatic aberration. I'm going to go ahead and create. Okay, so now what I need to do is go to the Lightroom Classic Preferences, and I need to go uh, on the second tab, which is Presets and I need to select my master profile. So you see where it says master, I'm gonna click and hold here. I'm gonna go down to presets and I'm going to go to user presets and find my master 5D Mark III, uh, or rather my 5D Mark III master profile that I just named, too many masters. And, and I'm going to close and let's see. How it's going to work so if I click on the next image and actually I'm going to click a whole brand new image this one right here because um, I did not apply anything to her um, so as soon as I click on reset you see I have my 5d mark 3 and all of my settings it's minus 25 on the highlights and it's minus saturation and so on so now this profile will be applied uh, to everything that I bring in from this camera. So when you choose to import images and as long as it's from the same camera that you just profiled, instead of hitting the reset, you won't have to do that anymore. It will just come in with the settings applied.